um, Shibia is now operating our agri-related livelihood programs in five states of East India, covering um, 1,700 vill villages. Um, you can see the states here in the east. You've got West Bengal, Odisha, Chhattisgarh, Jharkhand, and Bihar, which is where we're um, where we are replicating our poultry agri management services and poultry uh, fish, sorry, fish farming programs. And we're also running programs here um, in the west of the country in Rajasthan and Gujarat, but they're um, more focused on beauty and cooks. So we're going to be focusing on the east of India today. Um, and I'm also excited that we've expanded for the first time outside of India in the last year and a half. You can see in the bottom of the map, Madagascar, where we've been replicating our poultry development services and now our agri uh, management services there to prove that the model can actually work outside of India and other places. So we can touch on that in the Q&A at the end. And finally, here in Mumbai, uh, we have our Shibia Livelihoods Foundation team, which is just a small team there now to try and raise um, money in India for India. So now over to Agri Management Services, which is our second major program, which focuses on affordable and sustainable farming. And I'm going to hand you over to Joe, who will explain the program to you. Joe, hi. Thank you. Thank you, Oli. Namaste, ladies and gentlemen, once again. As Oli said, agriculture program or AMS, as we call it, is all about sustainable, environment-friendly farming for very small and marginal farmers who hardly have their own land. They take the land on lease from other farmers and work on it. Now, these farmers face two major challenges while farming. The first is that the cost of producing the crop is going up every year. And the second is that the output of the crop or the yield has been coming down with each passing year. And because of these two challenges, challenges the farmers are leaving farming and migrating to the cities for better opportunities. So we have come up with a five-step holistic approach, which actually solves their challenges. So what do we do? So first of all, we do the soil testing for them to ensure that the soil has the right nutrients for the crop that the farmer wants to grow so that the farmer doesn't unnecessarily put nutrients which are not required and increase their cost. The second thing that we do is we put them into small groups of 15 to 25 farmers in each group. And then we connect them to the input suppliers, like the seeds, fertilizers, etc., so that they can buy the inputs in a group and get a better price compared to an each farmer going to the market and buying it from a retailer, where the cost is higher. So this again helps to cut down the cost for the farmer. The third thing that we do is put these farmers into groups, yes, and also open bank accounts as a group. And every month they deposit small amounts in the bank account. And when they actually need it for their farming, whether it's for sowing or harvesting, they can utilize this money from the bank instead of going to the money lenders in the village who charge very high interest rates, about 24 to 26% per annum. So this again helps to cut down the cost for the farmer. The fourth thing that we do is these farmers have been using chemical fertilizers and pesticides for many years and ruining the soil. So we are training these farmers to move away from using chemical pesticides and fertilizers and use more and more of biopesticides and fertilizers. Not only that, we also train these farmers to prepare these biopesticides and fertilizers at home at almost no cost. So this again reduces the cost for the farmer and also very good for the environment. And the next thing that we do is called government linkages. There are some programs by the government for the farmers, but these farmers are not aware of these programs that are run by the government. So what our team does is they go to these government offices, find out what, what schemes are available for the farmers. For example, they give free seeds, free fertilizers, various training programs, crop insurance, et cetera. So our team actually connects our farmers to these government inputs. So this again helps in cutting down the cost for the farmer and also increase the knowledge for the farmer. So these are the five steps that we use to address the two challenges. Now, what we have seen is that with these steps, the input cost has come down by at least 20 to 30%, depending on the crop. 
and the yield has gone up by at least 25 to 50%. Now, across, as we are expanding to more partners, what we are doing is we are tweaking the model, just like the poultry program. For example, when we expanded to Odisha, food security is a big challenge where the farmer or the family is not able to get minimum vegetables to eat on a daily basis, on a regular basis. So what we have added there is a kitchen garden where we provide six to eight kinds of seeds to these farmers, vegetable seeds, so that they can grow the vegetables in their backyard and use it for their own consumption. And what we have seen is that they are using it for their own consumption and also the additional they are able to sell in the market and earning income from that. So these are the tweaks that we have made. And also recently, it's not there in the slide, but recently in 1st of April, we have expanded to Jharkhand, a new place. And over there, we've added two more components. Over there, we have added a seed bank where we'll be putting indigenous seeds there, where the farmers have access to these indigenous seeds rather than going to the market every time and dependent on the market for seeds. And also we are all aware of the climate change. So what we are doing is we are training these farmers to grow climate resilient crops like Bajra, Jawar, etc., which is more resistant to drought conditions because there's less rain, infrequent rains, etc. So all these changes are adding more value to these farmers. Recently, about two weeks back, I was in West Bengal, one of our operations, and I was so happy to see one of the farmers, how he has progressed. Initially, I had seen him when he was on the verge of quitting farming because he was not making money and wanted to move to the city. And now he's so happy with our program and his whole family is dependent on agriculture now and the money that he's making from agriculture. So I've shot a small video, which I would like to share with you all now. Uh, Victoria, could you please share that uh, farmer's video? Thank you. Hello everyone. I am currently here in Shundia in West Bengal, one of our operations. And this is our agriculture farmer and his name is... His name is Abul Kalam Malla. He was doing farming before he enrolled with us. But at that point of time, he was not making any profits. And about a year and a half back, he met our livelihood, livelihood service provider. And this is Rafikul, okay. our livelihood service provider. He explained to the farmer the benefits of our program on how he can make biopesticide fertilizers at home and how he can reduce his costs and make profits in farming. So in the last one and a half years, he got all this training and now this is his tomato farm. And now I would like to ask a few questions to the farmer. So, Dada, when you are doing your task, what do you do with your task? I give the ration of the ration, I give the ration of the ration, I give the ration of the ration, अपन दादा ये ते धोके टेढ़ हुआ चो, धोके शेकान ते के जो ही बच्चा रे पौधों की ये कोरे आशय मार लाभ होच्छे, खर्चा कम होच्छ। Okay, so I was asking him that when he started farming, how was he doing and what is the difference now? So he is saying that before he enrolled with us, he was buying the chemical pesticide and fertilizer from the market and using it in his fields, but the costs were going up, but the yield was not there and he was making losses. And he's saying that about a year and a half back, he met our livelihood service provider. He got all the training in one and a half years and he has used that in his fields. And now, Okay. So I was asking him about the costs. He is saying that for his tomato field, earlier he used to spend about 13 to 14,000 rupees. और एकों को तो होती है अपना एकों सर सात हजार साढ़े सात हजार टाव खर्च होती है ओके सो ही सेइंग दैट नाउ हिस कॉस्ट हैज ड्रॉप्ड टू सेवेन थाउजेंड बिटवीन सेवेन थाउजेंड टू एट थाउजेंड रुपीस सो अर्लियर इट वाज थर्टीन टू फोरटीन थाउजेंड एंड नाउ इट्स सेवेन टू एट थाउजेंड सो ऑलमोस्ट हाफ ऑफ व्हाट हिस क so he is saying that earlier he used to get about 35,000 rupees from selling the tomatoes in the market and now he is expecting that it will be about 70,000 rupees so almost double of what he was getting earlier 
তো আপনি এটা করে আপনি খুশি আছেন হ্যাঁ আমি খুশি আছি গাছ হয়েছে দাদাদের ইয়ে শুনে অফিসের থেকে ওষুধ দেয় আগে পোকা লাগতো খুব আচ্ছা এবার নিম তেল দিত আরো তেল দিচ্ছে দাদা সেই সব তেল মারছে আর পোকাটা আর আসছে না আগে টমেটা এখানে পোকা লাগতো আচ্ছা ফুটো করে দিত সো আই ওয়াজ আস্কিং ইউ ওয়েদার হিজ হ্যাপি উইথ আ প্রোগ্রাম হি ইজ সেইং দ্যাট ইজ ভেরি হ্যাপি বিকজ ওয়ান হিজ কস্ট হ্যাভ কাম ডাউন অ্যান্ড দ্য সেকেন্ড ইজ দের আর লেস ডিজিজেস নাও ইজ সেইং দ্যাট দে ইউজ টু বি লট অফ ডিজিজেস ইন টমেটোস but now with bio fertilizer and bio pesticides especially neem oil it's helping him because now there are no more diseases in his field and now what i would like to do is compare our farmers tomatoes with another farmer who is growing the tomatoes but he is not in our group so now let's come closer and see the plants so first of all you see these plants are higher than my height so about i five feet so it be another 6 6 and a half feet of tomato height of the plants and now see come closer and see the quality of the leaves quality of the leaves and the fruits and we will go to another field for comparison but before that i'll just ask one question before we move there দাদা আপনার যে বেশি চাষ হবে প্রফিট লাভ হবে ও টাকা দিয়ে আপনি কি করবেন আমি একটা মোটর কিনবো জল ছেঁচার জন্য তারপর একটা স্প্রেট মেশিন কিনবো সেটা চার্জার তারপর ছেলে আছে ছেলে পড়াশুনো সো আই এম আস্কিং হিম দ্যাট ইফ হি মেক্স মোর প্রফিট দিস টাইম হোয়াট ইজ ই গোয়েন টু ডু উইথ দ্য মানি সো ইজ ইজ গট থ্রি থিংস ইন হিজ মাইন্ড ওয়ান হি ওয়ান্টস টু বাই এ ওয়াটার পাম্প বিকজ দেন হি ক্যান গেট গেট মোর ওয়াটার and the second he wants to buy a sprinkler for spraying the bio pesticide and fertilizers and the third he is saying that he's got a young son of 5 years koto bachcha hai sabna amar 31 nahi nahi apna chele chele 5 years so he's got a 5 year old son he want to save for his education so now let's move to the another field which belongs to another farmer but he's doing tomatoes so let's go and see So this is again a tomato crop, but this doesn't belong to our farmer and you can see the height, I mean they've got a net here so I cannot go inside. So if you see the height of the plant is yes, slightly above my waist and if you see the quality of the leaves, they are much smaller, they are much smaller and the number of roots is far less. compared to our farmer thank you joe um thank you very much for for the the film as well and if we can now maybe go live to sundia and meet abul in person with um chandrani and rafikul chandrani are you able to be back on hi ali hi everyone so this is abul abul and this is rafikul the lsp and patho proud of supervisor patho driving all the programs very very enthusiastically sapul congratulations apni bhalo porachen apni khushi are you happy he is very very happy the progress he has made rafikul khushi to hoye bhalo apni aro bhalo korte chan ফার্মার Thank you. All the best. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Chandrani. Thank you, Ravikul. And, and I don't know whether everybody on the call heard, but that was also Pato, who's our field supervisor in Sundia. So he's in charge of the whole of Sundia location. So well done, everybody. There.